Hello guys, how is it going? It's Faker coming at you once again with another Rotero video. We're going to review some cards. They just announced the Noxus set of cards that we'll be getting. I believe there'll probably be more than just this set, but these are the ones that they're revealing for now. Uh, dude, we got the new champion, Swain. Uh, initial thoughts, disappointed. Uh, but you know, I hope I'm wrong. I hope this is one of those moments where in the past people review a card, so they give their star ratings, and then in the end they get wrecked by how good they actually are. So the power of Swain and the power of many of these cards that they're revealing can only change over time, but we can only use the base set for knowledge. So Swain is a five mana three six right that has fearsome tag and Nexus Strike it will deal three damage to the enemy Nexus. So when he hits it, it deals more damage. I don't think Swain initially often enough for people that already are aware of him and want to hear my opinion. I think it's going to be quite hard for Swain to be connecting face consistently. So you're not going to find that kind of value. But at least when we've done 12 non-combat damage this game, we'll level up. And once Swain levels up, he becomes a 4-7. So when we deal non-combat damage to the enemy Nexus, stun the strongest back row enemy. It's a slow play. Nexus strike deals through to all enemies. Ah. You know, I hope that there's some form of control deck where Swain can shine. Uh, I don't think the deck would revolve around finishing. Being Like, Swain probably wouldn't be your finisher, but he definitely has some uses where he might replace other cards in certain decks, like maybe a deck that runs Thresh. Uh, this could be like a different kind of control mid rangey kind of deck. So Swain could fit into a different slot or take over a different role. You have the Ravenous Flock. So this will be a dealing four damage to a unit if it's damaged or stunned. Uh, kind of interesting because you might consider running this in decks with your sewer and stun cards as maybe a two of or a one of for some cheap removal and it's pretty flexible because it's one mana as well so that's a pretty interesting card the noxium fervor this is going to deal three to an ally unit and deal three to anything this finds its uses here and there the power of this card really depends on like how like the amount of people that are playing Shadow Wilds really because I think that's the biggest factor for this card. Even uh Piltover, if people are running burn decks, the I've heard thoughts like this is kind of similar to Glimpse and in that you know you can get some value from it if they target you with uh, cards like Grass will get excited. But I think like I can imagine top decking this throughout the game, and it's just uh honestly. I don't know, my initial thought with this card is that it's a card I would hate to see off the top of the deck a lot of the time, so there might be a place for it. But the interesting thing though, I think it might have been overlooked, is that this deals 3 to an ally in it to deal 3 to anything. Now with Swain, when we've dealt 12 non-combat damage this game, so that can... I'm not sure if the overkill would count, but this could essentially do quite a lot. So I wonder if you are building a Swain deck, you might even just run this. Uh, my first, also my first go-to deck idea would be Swain in Shadow Wilds, I think, or Piltover. I think Shadow Wilds I'd find more interesting because we'd be dealing damage to our stuff. I don't know. Swain's probably not the champion card I'm most excited for. I hope we get some more interesting ones coming out soon. I still think Quinn's probably the most powerful so far that we've seen. We'll see how we go. So we got a few more cards here. We've got the Imperial Demolo uh, Demolitist. Demolitist. So play, deal one to an ally unit to deal two to the enemy Nexus. It's not a bad. Two mana, two, three. Deal one to an ally unit. Uh, there is that card from Rajord. Uh, it's a zero, three for one mana. You can consider running that with this. Uh, and since we've got more support for that kind of card now. It's pretty powerful. I think it'll have its uses. Obviously, if you're running the Crimson cards, that could be quite useful for them. There's not many cards that, like, outside of the Crimson units that really want to take damage. Like, you've got some of the Fragiled cards, as I mentioned, the 1 mana 0, 3, that gains 3 attack when it takes damage. We've also got Braum and stuff too, but, like, the thing about Braum and cards that you want to get deal damage to like that, like, sometimes you just don't want them to naturally... You don't want to play cards to damage them yourself. You want them to kind of punish your opponent for playing board removals and stuff like that. So my initial thought on this is that you probably played alongside Crimson's. It's the best best use for it. City Breaker. Round start, deal one to the enemy Nexus for four mana zero five. Um I know man, this seems kind of like imagine you're playing like a tempo tempo matters a lot, you know. So you draw this like you draw this on turn. 
four. You play it. It's so average. It will have the same, it will have like the same problem as uh, the warding stone. But this is a dealing damage. So you play this on turn four. Your opponent doesn't really want to remove it. It could find value over time. Then you can use it to like deal damage to it and stuff. I don't know. Buff it. It's kind of a strange one. We'll have to wait and see just how that card turns out. And then we've got the Leviathan. So this is eight mana. When you play it, you draw Swain though. That's pretty interesting. But at the round start, deal one to the enemy Nexus three times. So it goes in separate attacks, which is kind of relevant for some activating of key cards. It's eight mana. That's expensive. Like I would rather this card was like cheaper. It's kind of cool though. It does have eight HP. It's a massive tanky card. There's Overwhelm, and you draw Swain. I don't know. I think my initial thoughts on these cards is that until we really get in there and get some sample decks and experiment a lot more with them, it's hard from the surface to really give a good judge to this card. These whole, All these cards in general, I think this is probably the most standout card though. Anyway, that's going to wrap up these cards for now. Um, Noxus, kind of disappointing. But I hope I'm wrong. I hope this is a deck that just Swain is just a mental powerhouse. And we haven't seen the rest of the cards yet. So, you know, uh, we'll have to wait and see. See. You guys have a fantastic day. There'll be plenty more videos here. I'm going to upload this um, alongside a few other ones. So we'll still have some games. Alrighty. Peace.